Hello, I'm Maria Suzuki and I'm head girl of Tony High School Girls. We welcome you to our 2020 virtual awards evening. We hope you enjoy the show and congratulations to anyone who's won an award tonight. Firstly, we're going to start off with the subject awards. Heads of departments are going to announce the winners for each of these awards through each of the year groups for both progress and achievement. And the next subject awards are for English. And the first subject award is for Progress and it's the Gurinder Chadha Award. She's a film director of amazing note and she showcases the wonderful lives of Asians in London and abroad and really brings together the flavour of what it's like to grow up in this country. The Toni Morrison Award for Achievement in English is an award that showcases the talent and the drive of individuals just like Toni Morrison who really show that through adver adversity they can actually make a difference to the understanding that people have of a particular culture. So, um, the first award for progress in Year 7 goes to Barira Hussain and the award for in Year 7 for achievement goes to Ashia Yousaf. In Year 8, the award for progress goes to Amna Abdul Hakim and the award for achievement in Year 8 goes to Miriam Nazar. In Year 9, the award for progress goes to Aksa Khan and the award for achievement goes to Saria Ghan. Year 10, the award for progress goes to Aisha Mabu, and the award for achievement goes to Halima Ahmed. And in year 11, the award for progress goes to Simra Arfat, and the award for achievement goes to Rhoda Apan. Well done, all. The next awards are the Maths Awards. Uh, the Maths Award for Progress is in the name of Marjorie Lee Brown, one of the first black women in America to get a doctorate in maths. And the Progress Awards are in the name of Mariam Mazakani, who is a notable Iranian mathematician. In Year 7, the Award for Progress is for Umi Tabor Ahmed, and the Achievement Award for Aisha. In Year 8, the Progress Award is for Sharia Farouk, and the Achievement Award for Zalaika Yaz. In Year 9, the Progress Award is for Lily M. Longotti, and the Achievement Award for Fatima Al Nitta. In Year 10, the Progress Award for Hafsa Latif, and the Achievement Award for Asha Ali. And finally, in Year 11, the Progress Award for Tesnim Yakubi, and the Achievement Award for Fatima Ahmed Lebay. Well done to all. The next awards are for science. The Progress Award is in the name of May C. Jemison, who is an American engineer, physician, former NASA astronaut, and became the first black woman to travel into space. The Achievement Award is in the name of Rosalind Franklin, who was an English chemist and X-ray crystallographer, whose work was central to the understanding of the molecular structure of DNA. Year 7 Progress Award, Diamond Angel, Achievement Award, Manur Hussain. Year 8 Progress Award, Zainab Nazir. Achievement Award, Rahila Razak. Year 9 Progress Award, Pakiza Bibi. Achievement Award, Nargis Alizada. Year 10 Progress Award, Ariba Wajid. Achievement Award, Afsana Malik. Year 11 Progress Award, Nimra Mohammed. Achievement Award, Aisha Siddiqua. Hello, I'm here to announce the Geography Awards. The awards are named after two influential women. The first one is Barbara Hillary. She was the first black um, American woman to get to the North and South Pole. For the Achievement Award, it's Junko Taiba. She is the first Japanese, or the first woman I should say, to reach the summit of Mount Everest. She also is the first woman to have done the Seven Summits, which is the tallest point in the seven continents. So, for the Year 7 Progress Award, we have Avro Sadiq. For the Year 7 Achievement Award, we have Deha Jarrell. For Year 8 Progress, it's Fajira Johan. And for the uh, Achievement, Elena Chowdhury. For Year 9 Progress, it's Asuka Khan. For year 9 
achievement is Aisha Zishan. For year 10, progress is Samira Hussain. And for achievement, it's Nima Ahmed. For year 11, it's Tasim Yukubi. For progress and for achievement, it's Samia Ra. Next subject awards goes to history. The Progress Award is in the name of Rosa Parks, who was an American activist in the civil rights movement and best known for the Montgomery bus boycott in the 1950s. The Achievement Award is in the name of Millicent Fawcett, who was an English political leader who led Britain's largest right, civil rights organisation and helped women achieve the vote. For year seven, the Progress Award goes to Rihanna Sidekwe, and the Achievement Award goes to Nuha Nilham. In year eight, the Progress Award goes to Sahar Hussain, and the Achievement Award goes to Simran Rao Bullock. In year nine, the Progress Award goes to Taskin Amin, and the Achievement Award goes to Arifa Begum. In year 10, the Progress Award goes to Najina Shah, and the Achievement Award goes to Alicia Ahmed. In year 11, the Progress Award goes to Mahira Chaudhary, and the Achievement Award goes to Arish Kaur. The next awards are the Art Awards. The awards for progress in art are in the name of Frida Kahlo, who is a well-known Mexican painter who uh, painted paintings about uh, being a woman. For achievement, then they are in the, in the name of George O'Keefe, who is well known for her very large floral paintings. In year seven, for progress, Khadija Arif. In year seven, achievement, Nafisa Bibi. In year eight, progress, Simon Rayo Bullock. For achievement, Zainab Nazir. Year nine, progress, Rakei Ishtag. In for achievement, Janet Is Islam. Year 10, for progress is Ali Mahmood and for achievement, Anna Sahir. And in year 11, for progress, Ali Hassan. And in for achievement, Veronica Bukhead. These are the awards for photography. Uh, these have been done for progress in the name of Christina Broom and for achievement, Barbara Davidson. In year 10, the award for progress is Sara Takia and for achievement, Alicia Ahmed. And year 11, Tangina Begum for progress and Hania Hassan for achievement. The next set of awards are for business studies. The progress in business studies award is named after Rita Sharma, who is one of the most richest Asian women entrepreneurs on the planet. The Achievement Award is named after a famous Scottish entrepreneur and famous designer, Michelle Mon. The Rita Sharma Award for Progress in Year 10 goes to Halima Ahmed. And the Michelle Mon Award for Achievement goes to Mari Distinguo. In Year 11, the Rita Sharma Award for Progress goes to Fatima Kanis. And in Year 11, the Michelle Mon Award for Achievement in Business Studies goes to Samia Ram. The next awards are for computing and there are two categories. The first award is for progress in computing and this is the Ada Lovelace Award. Ada Lovelace was an English mathematician and was best known for her works with Charles Babbage and has been called the first computer programmer. The second award is for achievement in computing and this is rightly named after Rishi Sangui. Rishi Sangui was an in is an Indian computer engineer and she was the first female engineer hired by Facebook who currently works at Dropbox. So in year seven, for progress, it's Zainab Arsalan in 7T, in, and Abima Mahmood in 7S. In year eight, it's Fajr Bilal for progress in computing, and Saida Fatima for achievement in computing. In year nine, it's Safia Ibrahim for progress in computing, and Zoe Potter for achievement in computing. I move on now to Key Stage 4 and for Progress Award in Computer Science, this award is named after Yoki Matsuko, who is the CTO, the Chief Technical Officer of Google Nest. She was a founder of Google X and has been a technology leader at Apple. The next award is for Achievement in Computer Science and this is the Marissa Mayer Award for Achievement and Marissa Mayer was the information technology executive and prominent member of the team at Yahoo. 
So for this first award in year 10 goes to Amna Farhan for her progress in computer science and Sumeya Bosha for her achievement in computer science. In year 11, the progress award goes to Hamna Beg and the achievement award goes to Kaniz Fatima. For the next set of awards, this is for iMedia. And in the progress category, this is the Beverly Jackson Award. Beverly Jackson is a well-known name in the media industry and leads on many social media platforms as a creative director. And in the second category, which is the Achievement Award, Amy Potterfield. Amy Potterfield is a marketing expert in the media industry and has been responsible for many of the high-end adverts that have led to success in business, including Facebook. So in year 10, for progress in iMedia, Hadiba Bibi. And for achievement in iMedia, Prabjo Kaur. In year 11, for progress in creative iMedia, the award goes to Sanya Shafiq. And for achievement in iMedia, Zufshan Ullah. Thank you. The next subject awards are for design and technology. And I'm presenting the Annie Eastley Award for progress and the Carol Shaw Award for Achievement in Design Technology. Annie Eastley is a computer scientist, rocket scientist and mathematician and Carol Shaw is one of the first female game designers and programmers in the video game industry. The Year 7 Progress Award goes to Word of Girl and the Year 7 Achievement Award goes to Zainab Arsalan. The Year 8 Progress Award goes to Haraya Marine Ali and the Year 8 Achievement Award goes to Manar Hildal. The Year 9 Progress Award goes to Tanya Megalas Aslam and the Year 9 Achievement Award goes to Anusha Hussain. The next subject awards for Hospitality and Catering. I'm presenting the Rachel Ray Award for Progress in Hospitality and Catering. Rachel Ray is a renowned celebrity cook, businesswoman and author. And I'm also going to present the Claire Smythe Award for Achievement in Hospitality and Catering. Claire Smythe is the first and only female chef to run a restaurant with three Michelin stars in the UK. The Year 10 Progress Award goes to Safia Ipsal. And the Year 10 Achievement Award goes to Faiza Israel. The Year 11 Progress Award goes to Maham Sadiq Mushtaq. And the Year 11 Achievement Award goes to Zoya Mahmood. The next subject awards are for Art Textiles, and I'm presenting the Zandra Rhodes Award for Progress. Zandra Rhodes is an English fashion and textile designer. I'm also presenting the Vivian Westwood Award for Achievement in Art Textiles. Vivian Westwood is a British fashion designer and businesswoman who brought modern punk and new wave fashions into the mainstream. The Year 10 Progress Award goes to Liba Khan, and the Year 10 Achievement Award goes to Aksa Karim. The Year 11 Progress Award goes to Nimra Mohamed Abdurav Nova and the Year 11 Achievement Award goes to Muskan Kaur. The next subject award is for Child Development and I'm presenting the Carol Dweck Award for Progress. Carol Dweck is a psychologist best known for her mindset work. I'm also presenting the Nancy Bailey Award for Achievement. Nancy Bailey is an educationalist who is passionate about child development and ensuring children meet their academic and social needs. The Year 10 Progress Award goes to Alicia Ahmed and the Year 10 Achievement Award goes to Zulaika Pavi. The Year 11 Progress Award goes to Fatima Ahmed Lebe and the Year 11 Achievement Award goes to Ikram Karegli. The next subject award is for Food Preparation and Nutrition and I'm presenting the Mary Berry Award for Progress. Mary Berry is a food writer, chef and a television presenter. I'm also presenting the Delia Smith Award for Achievement. Delia Smith is a cook and TV presenter and she's best known for teaching basic cooking skills and her no-nonsense style. The Year 11 Mary Berry Award for Progress goes to Serena Jarrell and the Year 11 Achievement Award goes to Najiba Camille. So the next award goes for drama. The Progress Award is in the name of Dame Julie Mary Walters, 
who is a famous female actress, comedian and author, and has won a number of awards to recognise her contribution to the industry. The Achievement Award is the name of Emma Watson. Emma Watson OBE is a famous actress who is famously known for the part that she plays as Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter series. So, without further ado, the Progress Award for Year 7 goes to Diamond Angel. And the Achievement Award in Drama goes to Symphony Santhu Krumer. Year 8, Progress Award goes to Zainab Ahok. And the Achievement Award goes to Renaz Khan. In Year 9, the Progress Award goes to Tuscan Amin and Lily Melonti. Well done, girls. The next subject awards are for French. Um, they are given uh, in the name of Anne Hidalgo Award for the progress in, the progress in French. Anne Hidalgo is the current mayor of Paris, the only woman to have held that office, who is currently waging war on cars and is introducing cycleways and closing roads in Paris to traffic. Violet Zabo Award for Achievement in French is awarded in the name of Violet Zabo, who was a Special Operations Executive in World War II, who did several missions in Nazi-occupied France. She was posthumously awarded the George Cross for bravery. So our award winners in Year 7 for Progress in French, Fatima Bilal, and for Achievement in French, Aisha Ahmed. In Year 8, for Progress in French, Fajila Mohamed Janoun. For Achievement in French, Kiana Shah. In Year 9, for Progress in French, Zara Islam. For Achievement in French, Nilam Khan. In Year 10, for Progress in French, Hadia Tastuk. For Achievement in French, Alia Shah. And in Year 11, Sasha de la Haye for Progress in French. And for Achievement in French, Ikram Koragli. The next subject award are for Spanish. They are given in the name of Ana Patricia Botin for progress in Spanish. Ana Patricia Botin is the current executive officer of Santander Group and Alicia de la Rocha Award for achievement in Spanish is awarded in the name of Alicia de la Rocha who was the first Spanish artist to receive a UNESCO award. In year seven, our awards go to Word a Girl for Progress in Spanish and New Heart Nilam for Achievement in Spanish. In year eight, for Progress in Spanish, it's Saba Mirza. For Achievement in Spanish, it's Selena Chowdhury. In year nine, for Progress in Spanish, it's Taharana. For Achievement in Spanish, it's Alicia Hamid. In Year 10, for Progress in Spanish, it's Ariba Wajid. For Achievement in Spanish, it's Aisha Ahmed. And in Year 11, for Progress in Spanish, Adina Posner. And for Achievement in Spanish, it's Nahira Chowdhury. The next subject awards are for Urdu. They are the Maniba Mansari Award for Progress, given in the name of Maniba Mansari, who is a Pakistani activist, model, singer and motivational speaker. And the Jahan Ara Award for Achievement in Urdu. Jahan Ara is a Pakistani businesswoman who is also a member of the Prime Minister's Task Force on IT and Telecoms. They are awarded in Year 10 to Maria Ali for Progress and Fatima Pastanal for Achievement. And in Year 11, to Zainab Yusuf for progress and Yashfa Zulfika for achievement. The next subject award is for music. Bjork's award for progress and Evelyn Ligny award for achievement. Bjork was a well-known musician. Her career spanned over 40 years. She had um, 15 Grammy awards and was nominated 15 times for Prince Awards. In 2015, she was called uh, the most influential woman uh, in the world. Evelyn Ligny is also a famous musician and she is a musician who is a percussionist and she's profoundly deaf. Despite their disability, 
she actually achieved um, great success in music and in 2012 she opened a Olympic Games in London with the ceremony itself. So the Bjork Award for Progress goes to Year 7, Khadija Ali, Evelyn Lini Award for Achievement, Year 7, Mokada Sawa, Bjork Award for Progress goes to Year 8, Kasha Noor, and Evelyn Lini Award for Achievement goes to Amna Kanzada. Bjork Award for Progress in Year 9 goes to Taiba Mahmoud, and Evelyn Lini Award for Achievement go to Isla Mahmoud. The next set of awards of physical education called the E. The Progress Award is named after Rimna Akta. Rimna Akta is the first Muslim woman to sit on the Football Association Council and is chair of the, chair of the Muslim Women's Sports Foundation. The second award is for achievement and is named after Jessica Ennis Hill. She is a British former track and field athlete from England, she is an Olympic champion, a three time world champion, and 2010 champion, a uh, European champion. The award for progress in year seven goes to Hadra Wahid. The achievement award goes to Anaya Nabid. Year eight, progress award goes to Sadia Akram. The achievement award goes to Zara Fatima. The year nine, Award for Progress goes to Kyra Raman and the Achievement Award goes to Marion Bibi. The Year 10 Progress Award goes to Alicia Kausa and the Achievement Award goes to Hamera Ali. The Year 11 Progress Award goes to Halima Bagan and the Achievement Award goes to Zainab Arma. The next award is the GCSEPE. The Progress Award is, award, um, is named after Nicola Adams. Nicola Adams is a British former professional boxer who competed from 2017 to 2019. The Achievement Award is named after Kadina Cox. Kadina is a British para support athlete competing in T38 sprints and C4 para cycling events. The Award for Progress in Year 11 goes to Rhoda Opong. The Achievement Award in Year 11 goes to Ikram Karegi. Visa Health and Fitness. The Award for Progress is named after Maggie O'Fonzi. Uh, Maggie is an MBE in an English former rugby union player who played as a flanker for Saracens and England before retiring in 2014. The Achievement Award is named after Stephanie Houghton. Stephanie um, is an English footballer who both plays for um, captains Manchester City and captains England national team. The Progress Award for Year 10 goes to Sahar Kazmi. The Achievement Award goes to Liber Alla. Reset Performance Skills. The Progress Award is named after Sita Indrani. Sita is, um, is a famous and well-known English dancer and actress. The award for achievement is named after Shabana Jasin. Uh, she's a British choreographer and founder of Shabana Jasin Dance. Shabana Jasin has been creating dance works for up to 30 years. The Year 9 Progress Award goes to Liana Khan and the Achievement Award goes to Isla Mahmood. Our next award is for Ari. And influential women representing progress for Ari is Amna Wadud. Um, Amna Wadud is a Muslim philosopher um, and took part in several civil movements for promoting equality for women. Our next influential woman is Jane Hanning for achievement in Army, who was recognised by the uh, Scottish Missionary for the Church of England um, and recognised for having risked her life to help Jews during the Holocaust. The Year 7 Award for Progress goes to Alicia Rafiq. The Year 7 Award for Achievement goes to Fatima Mughal. The Year 8 Award for Progress goes to Zara Boshar. The Year 8 Award for Achievement goes to Sharia Farouk. Year 9 
Award for Progress goes to Fabiha Anja. Year 9 Award for Achievement goes to Ayla Mahmood. Year 10 Award for Progress goes to Farah Ali. Year 10 Award for Achievement goes to Hafsa Sadiq. Year 11 Award for Progress goes to Alicia Yousaf. And Year 11 Award for Achievement goes to Ikram Karubli. These awards this evening are named after many past and present influential women. We are delighted to have an inspirational guest speaker with us this evening, who is certainly an influential woman. It is my great pleasure to introduce Diana Asaji. Diana works at the cutting edge of education and school improvement. She is known as a resilient school leader, skilled in urban leadership under challenging circumstances. Thank you for joining us this evening and I will now hand over to Diana. Girls of Chulney, my name is Diana Asagi. I'm a former secondary head teacher and I now run my own academy where I train women, female leaders, to take up their position and to thrive in leadership. I want to say a couple of things to you, five minutes of your time. First, well done. We salute your efforts. We say well done. What you have achieved is worth celebrating. So we take time out to stop and say, great stuff, keep going, that was good. Second thing, I want to encourage you. Hear this. When you were born, there was a shout. If you like, something that's said in the earth, let this child fulfill their expectation. There is an expectation on your life. And I'm encouraging you to take a moment now to think about it. You might be 11, you might be 16, where however you are, wherever you are. Think about what is it that I am here for? What is it that I'm expected to achieve? Let me fill that in for you. Greatness. Does it seem far-fetched? Perhaps, but it's the truth anyway. When I was growing up in South London, living on an estate in Peckham, going to school in Peckham, going to secondary school in Forest Hill, my circumstance, my surroundings were saying no, but the expectation in my life was a huge yes. My parents, my teachers came together with an expectation and said, Diana, we know there is greatness inside of you. So I say to you, without having met you, I know there is greatness inside of you. Fulfill the expectation of your life. Whatever that is, go for it. So how do you do that? Let me give you two things. How to fulfill the expectation of why you are on this planet. One, face your studies. Read your books, as my Nigerian father would say. Read your books. Education is the key to the brightest version of your future. Whatever you want to be, whatever you want to achieve, education and success in education is the greatest key. Don't let anyone or anything take that key from you. Number two, come listen to me. Surround yourself with people, with friends who are worthy of your friendship. Don't give away your friendship cheaply or lightly. You are a person full of greatness. So choose 
who gets to sample your greatness wisely. Surround yourself with people who build you up, who have good things to say into your ears and you have good things to say into theirs. Let your greatness rub off on their greatness and together, together, you build phenomenal friendships. You are worthy. You deserve great friendships. So build only friendships that will serve the purpose of you becoming great. Chorney girls, without having met you, I stand here and I salute what you have achieved already. I salute what you have done and I look forward to your future. I stand with your head teacher, your leaders and all your teachers. And we say to you, well done. You are something awesome. Now we're going to move on to the Head of Year Awards for this year. The winner of this year's Head of Year Award for Year 7 has been a pleasure to see settle in and progress during her first year at Chorley High School for Girls. This pupil is kind, considerate and supportive of her peers. She is respectful of all members of the Chorley community, ready to focus and progress in her learning and resilient enough to challenge herself and persevere towards success. She works extremely hard across all areas of curriculum and always challenges herself to go above and beyond expectations. She remained completely on task throughout the period of lockdown and worked hard on extracurricular activities. I have no doubt that this pupil will be an influential young woman in the future. Well done, Alicia Chowdhury. This award goes to a student who, since coming into Chorney High School for Girls in Year 7, has shown a dedication to the year group uh, beyond all means. She's intelligent, articulate, and is always pushing herself to do the best she can She's taken part in many whole school events, including the recent SSAT award, which she is very proudly submitting high levels of quality work. She is a student that I believe will make an excellent candidate for head girl in the not too distant future. The head of year eight award goes to Hannah Ayaz. The next award is the head of year award for the Rosalind Year Group. This student settled well into school in year seven and she started to flourish in year eight and year nine. However, I don't believe that we truly saw her potential in school until the school closure happened. During this period of time, we started to see a real glimpse of her true colours. She demonstrated her commitment to education and it was evident in the effort and the creativity of the work that she had been producing was such a high standard and she put loads and loads of effort in and it was fantastic to see. This consequently led to her being nominated frequently by the staff as the star of the week. And it's a real pleasure to have her in the Rosalind Year Group. I couldn't think of a better person to have this award and be more deserving of it. So the Head of Year Award for Rosalind goes to Pakiza Bibi. The Head of Year Award was really difficult to decide on this year, especially given the resilience and positive approach taken by so many in the Year Group. However, this young person really stood out. I noticed that she was taking up every opportunity and taking part in all of the activities available. She became a reading assistant and took part in almost all of the year group challenges during lockdown. And also before lockdown, collecting many merits along the way. The head of year award winner later shared with me that when she had become a reading assistant, this inspired her to take part in more of the challenges as her confidence grew. She set herself a goal and has demonstrated resilience and determination to achieve it, even during the challenges we have faced over the last few months. This year, the Head of Year Award goes to Jeanette Mia Vega. The next award is the Head of Year Award for Year 11. This individual has achieved phenomenal success during her short time at Chorney High School for Girls. She also made a massive impact on us all. Her personality and warm, friendly nature shone through from the moment she arrived. She was consistent and persistent in her studies and also had an incredible determination to succeed and excel in life. She joined our school from another country and was always seeking extra knowledge in class, was keen to learn and to build on her skills. 
She was happy for the education she was being given and so thankful to the staff for everything they did. However, it was all down to her hard work and resilience that she achieved such a fantastic set of results. I have no doubt she will be a success in life. This award goes to Marham Sadiq Mushtaq. We wish her all the very best. Now we're going to move on to the Senior Leadership Team Link Awards. Good evening. My name is Miss Stolen and I'm the Senior Link for Year 7, who are now the current Year 8s. The person I'm going to talk to you about tonight is one of the most kind, caring, compassionate, supportive people that I've ever had the pleasure of not just being attached to in a year group, but also the pleasure of teaching too. This person has such a positive demeanour and it doesn't matter what she ever has to face, she will do it with exactly the same positivity and resilience and I think this is testament to the sort of person that she is. This was demonstrated during lockdown where we were all experiencing difficult times but this person took the time to check on other people and make sure they were okay and that wasn't just other students but staff too. She would message people and ask how their day had been she would help students that didn't understand the work. And to be honest, for me, as her teacher, it was actually a great help for me. This person always gives up her time to help people, whether that's her fellow peers or staff within the school. She gives up her time to get involved with different opportunities in and around the school. And again, I think that speaks volumes about her character. She is a committed, dedicated person who has drive and determination and as a result, this has led to her making excellent progress this year. This year. I want to personally thank her for the help that she gave me during lockdown. This person would often be my tester. I would send her links to quizzes or I would send her links to Google Forms or I'd ask her to open up presentations and PowerPoints to check their work. So thank you for the help that you gave me. This person has grown in confidence over the last year and it really has been a pleasure to see this happening. And I really look forward to seeing her continue to grow in confidence over the rest of her time here at Chorley High School for Girls. This person has a really bright future ahead of her and if anybody deserves it, then this person does. So my Senior Leadership Link Award goes to the lovely Medeha Jarrell. Well done, Medea. Good evening. My name is Mrs Masters. I'm the senior link to Year 8, who are currently the Year 9 cohort. During Year 8, this person made outstanding progress across all her subjects. She achieved this through her resilience, contribution and participation in lessons, and her attitude to learning, which was consistently at the top of the year group since September 2019. She worked diligently and methodically at all times and was a pleasure to teach as her maturity towards education always shines through. So therefore, I am pleased to announce the recipient of my Senior Link Award is Haram Hassan. Hello, I'm Mrs Menon. I have the privilege of being the Senior Link to Rosalind, last year's Year 9 and current Year 10. The student I am going to give award to is very hardworking and diligent. She's a role model within her year group and beyond. This student relentlessly focuses on her education and treats it with utmost respect. She's often chosen to speak to visitors from other schools and we even chose her to speak to Ofsted. This is because she's highly reliable and her passion and enthusiasm for learning shines through. This young lady is extremely witty and has a very caring personality which makes her well liked and respected by her peers. Lockdown was difficult for all students, however she approached it with the same high standards and expectations that she had for herself in school. The standard of work she produced was fantastic. The learning she carried out during the last few difficult months will serve her tremendously well as she approaches her GCSE. I have very high hopes for her when we get to choose at the Senior Prefects team this year. And I'm delighted to announce that this year's winner for the Senior Leadership Award for Rosalind is Zipporah Opal. Thank you.
Good evening, I'm Miss Mills, the SLT link for Year 10, going into Year 11 this year. I, it's with great pleasure that I announce the winner for the SLT Award. This student is an exceptional student. She is kind and patient with everyone in her year group. This student has been involved in a range of different projects and activities since Year 7. For example, this student has been involved in the Debating Society. This student has been a reading partner. This student has been heavily involved in the library as well. When involved in home learning this year, we were really, really impressed with this student. She produced some fantastic work above and beyond what was expected. It is with great pleasure that I announce the SLT award for 2019 to 20 is Ayat Shaker. I'm Mrs. Whitehall, senior link to year 11, and I'm going to tell you about my SLT award. This young lady was a superb and reliable member of Veracity. She was an outstanding prefect and never ever let the school or her peers down. Her behaviour and effort in class was second to none. She went about her day in a quiet and polite manner always ready to share her fantastic smile with everyone. Her results were very impressive with a progress score of 1.5. She has achieved well above expectations and, she will, and we know that she will go on to achieve even more amazing things in life. Her family and friends should be extremely proud of the young lady she has become. Her confidence and self-belief has grown immensely during her time at Chorney Girls. I am delighted to say that the SLT award for Year 11, 1990-20, goes to Tahia Ahmed. Now we're going to move on to the Head Teacher Awards. I'm going to introduce now the Head Teacher Awards. And I'm going to start with the Head Teacher Award for Year 7. This student has fully immersed herself in life at Chorley High School for Girls since joining in September 2019. She follows and embodies the three R's of respectful, ready and resilient. She's a role model to peers in both her year group and years above her. Enthusiasm for learning and knowledge radiate from her and as a result, she's made excellent progress through the last academic year, even when faced with the recent challenges of school closure. A quality of work during school closure is, an, is exceptional including a, a stage model for Shrek for Musical, involvement in all half-term and well-being activities, and even a video to boost staff morale when we were all working from home. She's deeply committed to her work, but also cares about others around her. She will certainly be an influential woman of the future. A student who is fully deserving of this award. I'm delighted to say that the award for Year 7, the Teacher Award, goes to Nuha Nair. I'm now going to introduce the Head Teacher Award for Year 8. This student is an exemplary student who gives her best in and out of lessons. She's a courteous, hard-working and conscientious student. She embodies the school's underpinning ethos of respect, opportunity and achievement. She's taken the opportunity to involve herself in activities in and out of the classroom to develop herself and others. Her academic achievements are already impressive. She is a student determined to achieve well academically and was awarded the highest merit points last year in her year group. I have no doubt that she will excel academically in the future. Although committed to her studies, she is equally committed to others, always willing to help others and someone you can always count on. She's a role model to other students within her new group and beyond. I am delighted to say that the Head Teacher Award for Year 8 is awarded to Aisha Tariq. I'm now going to introduce the Head Teacher Award for Year 9. This student has always fully embraced what being a Chorney girl is all about. Since year seven, she's been committed to upholding the school ethos and the three arts which guide our work at the school. Respectful, ready 
resilient. These qualities are evident across all her work and alongside her effort and application ensure that she consistently produces work at a very high standard. During the school closure period, the high standard of work and commitment to her education never faltered. For example, she was nominated by staff for Star of the Week almost weekly and often by more than one member of staff. This student is not only a hard-working member of the school community, but also very giving of her time to others. She's recently been highly commended by our CEO, Adrian Rogers, for her extraordinary artistic skills and the time and effort she gave to draw a portrait of a much lovely, much loved family pet that had recently passed away. This was not only an amazing gift for the family and a lasting memory for them, but it is a testament to her kindness and care for others. This student is truly deserving of the Head Teacher Award. I'm delighted to say that the Head Teacher Award for Year 9 goes to Zoe Potter. I'm now going to introduce and announce the Head Teacher Award for Year 10. It's a great pleasure to speak about this student. The student this award goes to worked hard before the school closure and worked exceptionally hard during the school closure, displaying a commitment and tenacity to her studies which resulted in some exceptional work. Through her hard work, she's already achieved a distinction award for her research PE, a suitable reward for her hard work and application. She is supportive of other students within the year group and has become a prefect this year. The student that this award goes to is resilient, selfless, and has shown great care and compassion through difficult circumstances. She shows maturity beyond her years and is an example to us all, both staff and students. I'm delighted to say that the Head Teacher Award for Year 10 goes to Safa. I'm going to introduce now the Head Teacher Award for Year 11. This student was a pleasure to have as a member of our school community and was an exemplary member of Veracity's Prefect team. She was the true embodiment of what you would want a churning girl to be. She was kind, she was considerate of others and she worked hard. She was proud to be a member of our school community and went about her everyday school life in a calm, measured yet purposeful way. I think she will be surprised to have been selected for this accolade as she was not a student to seek the limelight. Not only did she leave the school as a much valued member of the school community who contributed positively across all aspects of school life but also as a high achieving member of our school. Her exam results were much deserved and with a progress score of more than two meaning on average she achieved two grades higher than expected in each subject. She, she has shown what success is possible when you work hard and show a resilient attitude. I'm delighted to announce that the Head Teacher Award for Year 11 goes to Celia Camaldine. Now we're going to move on to the special awards. So I'm going to invite Ms. Ponsonby to come to the stand to announce the winners for each of these awards. Good evening, my name is Miss Ponsonby and this evening I have the pleasure of awarding all of the special awards which I'll talk you through as we go by one by one. The first award this evening is the Alison Batten Award for Science. Alison Batten is a former head teacher of our school who previously worked as a research scientist. She remained committed to teaching science and upon her retirement she introduced this award and it is presented every year to the student who has made the most progress in science between Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 4. This year this award goes to a student who embodies the idea that hard work reaps rewards. Her continued hard work and commitment to achieve the very best she could has resulted in fantastic science exam results this year. This student achieved two grade nines in her science and she should be extremely proud of this achievement as the progress she made during her time at Chalmey was truly amazing. This award goes to Hamna Baig, 
Huge congratulations, Hamna, and very well deserved. The next award is the Sandra Johnson Award for Determination. This award is a memory of Sandra Johnson, an inspiring teacher of textiles and a mother figure to any girls that she taught, and an absolutely positive role model to those who had the privilege of knowing her. This award is presented annually to the student who has been determined in everything they do during their time at school. The award winner this year displays determination to the greatest degree. She worked tirelessly to achieve incredible grades and make exceptional progress. She epitomises that hard work leads to success. She has taken every opportunity she could to achieve her grades and aspirations. With her determination and positive attitude, I'm sure she will succeed in everything she puts her mind to. The award winner this year for the Sandra Johnson Award is Natasha Koreshi. Well done, Natasha. The next award is the Kazina Akram Award for Achievement. This award is in memory of a former student who sadly passed away before finishing Year 11 a number of years ago. This award is presented annually to a student who has successfully achieved in her time at Chulney and particularly through the face of adversity. This student was an ama amazing prefect and she showed tremendous ability to overcome very challenging times in her own life. She should be really proud of herself because we are very proud of her. She has immense resilience and a positive attitude to everything she does. I am delighted to announce that this award this year goes to Maria Hussein. Congratulations and well done, Maria. The next award this evening is the Mary Arthur Award for Citizenship. Mary Arthur is a former head teacher of our school. This award is given to the student who presents themselves as a good citizen and upholds the school ethos of respect, opportunity and achievement, as well as becoming involved in the everyday life of the school, with positive contributions to both the year group and the whole school community. This individual has a fantastic and bubbly personality and a smile that would light up the room. She was involved in so many aspects of high school. She was a prefect, a member of Chorney Boys, a member of the debate club, to name but a few. She represented the school in the right way at all times and was respectful and always gave everything her best. This person was an inspiring leader and watching her blossom in her role of house captain made us all so proud. She has achieved amazing exam results which prove what a positive attitude and hard work can achieve. I am delighted to announce this evening that this award goes to Rhoda Apong. Huge congratulations Rhoda and very well deserved. The final award this evening is the Aisha Sujit Award for Resilience. This award is a memory of a former student who sadly passed away not long after she finished Year 11. This award is presented annually to the student who always has a smile on her face, never gave up and who faced life's challenges with nothing but positivity. This individual had some challenging times, especially later in her school career. She never gave up and showed a tremendous attitude at all times. The results she achieved under the circumstances are nothing short of incredible. She achieved an average of two, two grades higher than expected, including two grade nines. She was a first class prefect and a wonderful member of our school community. She should be extremely proud of her and we are too. This award this evening goes to Zainab Musa and this is truly and utterly deserved. Well done Zainab. Thank you to all parents and carers and wider family members who have joined us. Education is a shared responsibility between home and school and how lucky we are at Chorley High School for Girls to have such a supportive parental body. Thank you for all your support for your daughters, for our staff and for me as the proud head teacher. In the Ofsted inspection in January 2020, when we were graded outstanding, the lead inspector wrote of the girls, pupils live the school's values of respect, ready to, readiness to learn and resilience. Your daughters have been celebrated today for doing just that. We are very proud of you. Thank you all very much for joining us.